We have been waiting for a while. What in the name of God is going on? I am worried. What if the test result is bad? Don't be negative, Alice. Can you be optimistic for once in your life? I am. But. No buts. Okay. Fine. So, why is it taking forever? Patience, woman. Patience. We will be fine. Whatever the result is, I want you to know that I love you, and we will keep trusting God. I love you too, Joe. Mr. and Mrs. Joe, the doctor will see you now. All right, ma'am. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Joe. How are you doing? We are fine, doctor. We are fine. I am just nervous. Everything is going to be just fine. Your test result is out, and it is not looking too good. But we will try our best and see how it goes. Bad news, doctor. I know. My instincts already told me. Doctor, can you tell us what the problem is? Your wife has no fallopian tube, and she has fibroid as well. I am sorry. What? All of that? I don't get you, doc. Calm down, babe. Do not ask me to calm down. I am sorry. All right, doctor. What is the implication of these results? In one word, it is the reason you guys have difficulty conceiving. The reason your wife had not been able to get pregnant. What? What? I am finished. I won't be able to get pregnant. It's all right, Mister and Missus Joe. We will try and see how we can help. Good day, Mister Ben. Good day, pharmacist. How are you doing today? I am still not getting any better. This headache is driving me crazy. Are you sure you are not skipping your drugs? I am not. I administer as the doctor prescribes, but I am not feeling any better. I came to buy new ones. I have exhausted the ones I have. I can't go out. I keep holding my head. I can't coordinate. The pain is unbearable. You will be fine, Mr. Ben, if you say so. Hey, Ben, how are you doing? I am fine, thank you. It's been a while since I saw you. I have been going through a lot recently. I can't go to work. I have been battling a headache. I cannot coordinate on anything. The doctor said it is a migraine. The headache has refused to stop. I am also battling insomnia as well. I am in serious pain, George. I have administered lots of drugs, but it seems nothing is working. It must have been hell. Hell is an understatement. Can I prescribe another drug for you? But you are not a doctor. Yes. I am not a doctor, but my father is a great physician. Your dad is a great doctor. Yes, he is. He is our father. Please take me to him for a better prescription. Sure, but let us look for a place to sit. Ben, have you tried the Word of God as your drug? The Word of God. Yes, the Word of God. There is potency in the Word of God. The Word of God is efficient. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter four, verse twelve, that the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, and the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart. <laughs> yes, I am hearing this scripture now like I've not seen it or heard it before. Yes, that is because God's word are new every day. You are right. But I have prayed and fasted for healing, but it seems it's not working. When you have tried all for your problem and it seems not working, try the word of God. Teach me how to use it. Anyone can use it, inasmuch you are born again and you have Jesus in you. So many believers are ignorant of the power in the word. Everything you need is in the word of God. How do I activate it? The Bible says in the book of John, chapter one, verse one, that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The Bible in the book of John, chapter one, verse five, says the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The word of God, which is God Himself, is that light. All your problems, including your migraine, are darkness. So when you start using the word of God, darkness automatically fades away. Darkness bows to the light, which is the word of God. But I quote the scripture as well, and it did not work. You don't just quote the scriptures; you confess it. You speak it. You meditate on it. 
you make the word part of you, make it your routine drug. When you are going to bed you confess it, still seeing symptoms you continue to confess it. Just continue to confess what the scripture says about your problem. Trust me every solution is in the Bible. When you keep confessing, then the word of God will become alive in you. That is when you start seeing results. The word must be alive in you. Wow! This is powerful. Yes! The word of God is powerful and alive. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Peter. I have read through your CV, but I am sorry we need more qualified people in this company. I am qualified, sir. I have all the requirements and qualifications, sir. And I said you are not. Are you the one in charge here? You are not qualified, Mr. Peter. I am sorry. I am, sir. I am qualified for the job, sir. You may leave now. This vacancy is for my candidate. No one will ever be qualified except my candidate. Poor boy Peter. Did you see the manager? How did it go? You don't look happy? He said I'm not qualified for the job. What? Yeah, that was what he said. He said he need more qualified people. But you have all the requirements. That was why I asked you to apply. Did you try to sell yourself? I tried to, but he asked me to leave his office. That man is a devil. What? With all your qualifications? I am so sorry bro. Babe, I want you to calm down. We are going to re-strategize. We are going to engage in the weapon of the word of God. The word God is powerful. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 138 verse 2 Be for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. We will engage in confessing, speaking, and meditating on the word. We will pray more with the word of God. Are we together on this babes? I hope it will work Joe. Can you be optimistic? I am. I am optimistic. But we have been praying and we prayed before we went for the test. And see the negative result we got. Meet me in the room when you are ready to pray. Alright. We will begin to pray with the word and I want your heart to be connected. Father in the name of Jesus. The Bible in the book of Job 22:28 says thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto us. So, we decree that we shall have our baby in Jesus' name. The cry of the baby shall sound in this house in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible in the book of Matthew 15 verse 13 says every plant, which my heavenly Father hath not planted, shall be rooted up. I speak the word of God. Fibroid and cyst hear the word of the Lord. I root you out of my wife's womb in the name of Jesus. The Bible in the book of Psalm 18 verse 44 to 45 says as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. I speak the word, fibroid, and cyst, you are a stranger in our marriage. We command you out of my wife's womb in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse 26 There shall nothing cast their young nor barren in thy land. In this marriage we will not be barren, my wife will not be barren in Jesus' name. Amen. I will not be barren. According to the word of the Lord in the book of Psalm 128 verse 3 it says Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thy house, thy children like olive plants round about our table. My wife is fruitful and our children shall surround our table in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you babe, I love your faith and I love you. You are the best. I love you too. This is now our routine. I love it. Fibroid. Cyst. Out of my womb in Jesus' name. I am free. I am delivered. Hallelujah. Good morning, Mrs. Joe. How are you doing today? I am fine, doctor. Your husband is not here with you today. Yes, he traveled. 
Your test result is out. Okay, doctor. You are six weeks pregnant. Congratulations, ma'am. What? I am pregnant. I am pregnant. Everybody, I am pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. We will pray together with the Word of God. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is written in Book of Matthew, Chapter 8, Verse 17, B. It says, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. Jesus, bear your sickness, so you're free from every migraine and insomnia in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is written in the Book of Isaiah, Chapter 53, Verse 5b, and it says, With his stripes we are healed, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is written in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, it says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal there of thy wounds, saith the Lord. I decree your health is restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am healed in Jesus' name. There are lots of scriptures on healing. Begin to speak and declare those words. Make it a routine and see Jesus take his glory. Thank you, George. I feel better. The word really works. I am delivered from you migraine and insomnia. It is written in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7b. It says resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I resist you now in the name of Jesus. I can't feel the headache anymore, I am healed. I fell asleep and had the dream. I cannot remember the last time I slept this long. I am healed. There is power in the word, the word works. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. It is written in the scripture, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 9 which says, The Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of the hands. I decree that I am qualified for that job, so I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Peter. I had to call you back for the job, because the CEO thinks you are good for the job. Wow! Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Thank your God. You will resume immediately. Wow! You may leave my office now. I got the job. I got the job. I got the job. Hi everyone. Welcome to Tiwi World Channel. Please I want to employ you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, please it means a lot to me, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for supporting and watching.